from 1 to 40, then it's a uh, symbol that marks the spiritual change that takes place. And so God gives us an opportunity to have an outward witness, an outward illustration of what he has done in the spirit. Now, baptismal in and of itself, it will not save you. You'll just go down a bit, son, and you're going to come, you go down a bit, son, and you're coming out a bit. So, so the water does not have power to save you. It's not the water. It is the Holy Spirit that you receive through accepting Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Now, baptismal and salvation doesn't have much to do with cognitive. It's not about saying the right things, writing down the right notes. That's not what baptismal is all about. And, and so, baptismal is about faith. They'll be the baptismal, we'll talk about one more. And so, baptismal is about faith. And it's about what happens in the regenerated heart. And so, the thing about the regenerated heart, it just believes. And that's what salvation is about. It's the moment you believe. And that's what it is. And so, we're marking the confession of these young people who have, who have confessed Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And so, we're marking Jason, uh, uh, Stephen, come over here for me. Thank you. And I don't know what's going on.
Okay, so Davion has, and Julia both have made this confession a few months back, and over time we have watched them and have been working with them, and today is their appointed time for the baptism. And so Davion has accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. We have confirmed such today, and so at this moment it is my great pleasure to baptize Davion and Joseph. I baptize you. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. 
Amen. Amen. 